Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Paul Mash TV. I'm Paul Mash of course and this is episode 15 and we're glad that you could join us today and we just reached 203 likes on our Facebook page so our fan base keeps growing and we appreciate that. The interest in becoming a fan especially after watching this episode just go to facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash Radio and uh, check out all our old episodes there. Right now from Littlefield, Texas, we have an, an artist by the name of Trevor Jennings. And uh, he's a real talented artist. I think you're really going to like this guy. And he's going to do a song just like all our other artists do. So without further ado, let's start the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another interview. And with us uh, from Littlefield, Texas, we have Trevor Jennings. Thanks for stopping by, Trevor. Hey, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Um, I guess the first thing I'd like to ask you is uh, how it became um, how it became as far as music wise for you. I mean, have you always been influenced by music? Did you just kind of fall into it? Maybe you can let us know your story. Well, I mean, I've always I've always been uh, around music. You know, Waylon being my great uncle and whatnot. I kind of grew up whenever he would be in town, I was backstage. So I always wanted to be in the music industry somehow. Didn't start playing until I was about 16 years old with a friend of mine uh, by the name of Tori Smith. He was a, a drummer. And, we started our first band around the time I was uh, 18 years old, after we graduated high school. And we played in that band for about two years. It was called New Path. After that, we kind of transitioned into a little bit heavier metal type stuff and uh, played, played, did that thing for a while. Slowed down a bit after I had my first child, got married and everything. I, I kind of took a break for it and, and concentrated a little bit on parenting. and. Uh, after a while, I went and got involved with a fellow by the name of Corey Killo, who is now the lead singer for the Dick's Hat Band, and, and we did that thing, uh, before he got with them, we did that thing for about a year, and uh, it was more of a country, um, alternative country type feel to it, and that's uh, that, that's what brought me to where I'm at right now, and uh, after that ended, I just kind of started doing my own thing, playing and, and writing more a little bit more than what i used to and just kind of got back into it and have a different sound now uh, than i used to okay well that, that's a good story there um what would you say your influences were uh, as far as music goes do you have any influences or man uh as far as i started playing guitar with uh i learned how to play blink 182 songs that's kind of what I, I did i picked up the <laughs> guitar and i just started playing blink 182 songs all the time so i, I really like some blank but uh, nowadays, like I, I like the Mountain Goats quite a bit. They they influence me quite a lot. I, I like their sound and uh, fellow by the name of Jonathan Colt, and I listen to quite a bit of him. He's he's kind of a comedic uh, uh, a comedic artist, and I like I like funny stuff too. But as far as performance wise, I like Pantera, Dimebag Darrell. He's one of my favorite guitar players of, of all time. I'm influenced by a whole wide array of. of music you know and it's it, i try to show that and, and the performance and the songs that i do and everything okay yeah a few of those bands you mentioned i have heard some of those and uh and i'm a kind of a big fan of them as well so i know where you're coming from um as far as your music goes uh do you have any albums or at least some places where you can download your music maybe you could share some of that with us well, you know, I don't have that yet. I'm actually uh, I'm, I'm about to start working on the recordings. I've been, like I said, I just started doing the whole writing bit, and I'm trying to figure out. I, I'm seeing how it sounds uh, at the live shows that I play and seeing which ones kind of work out, figuring out which of these songs I want to put uh, on a on an album or whatnot. I uh, don't have anything yet. I'm working on it myself. I got a little studio here at the house, and uh, I guess I've just been being lazy. So. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Okay, well that sounds good. Something out soon, and I'll I'll uh, I'll keep that posted on my Facebook page, Trevor Jennings on Facebook. Okay, well that sounds good. Um, well, um, as far as that goes, uh, that's about all I can think of right now. But again, we want to thank you for stopping by, Trevor. And um, any anytime you want to come back, uh, you know, uh, let us know. We'll have you back, and you can plug something for us sometime. Uh, but, uh, right now, in just a minute, we're going to have one of your songs on here. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about your song. Well, this one, it actually, a buddy of mine, he started 
kind of writing it in high school as a joke, just because I was trying to teach him how to play guitar, and he could only ever get the hang of that the D chord and then the, the A chord, because it really only involved one finger, and you just move it down one string, so... Uh, he would pick up the guitar and he, he would start singing Johnny, he went to the sea and mm-hmm. stuff like that and he just kind of did some random things and any time we'd be at a party where there was a guitar he'd pick it up and do that Well, uh, about the middle of last year or so we were talking on the phone laughing about all the stupid shit we used to do back in the day and and, uh, and that came up and I told him, I said, you know what man I'm, I'm going to see if I can't finish that song so uh I sat down at work one day on break and and I and I finished that song. Uh, I wrote the song. And it's called Johnny. And if y'all yeah. like? It, I'll play it for you. Alrighty. Um, and by the way, on some of your music, uh, I I probably already mentioned this, but where where can we get your music if you want to download it? I mean, uh, uh, is there any way you can download it? Uh, not not at the moment. I have no I have no recordings. You can see you know clips of a. Uh, of, the show that I played this past weekend with Tommy Morrison. Uh, I had my own solo show also during the day. Uh, shout out to Tommy for helping me get hooked up with you too. Uh, but yeah, there, there's a small clip right there and you can see some of my old performances with the Corey Killo band on, uh, on YouTube. There's a couple of videos there, but that, that's, that's just my guitar playing. Uh, I was playing guitar for him, but I, I will keep updated on the Facebook page and all that. Uh, about whenever I get my recordings out. Okay, yeah, and you mentioned Tommy Morrison. Yeah, he was one of our guests on the show at one time a few, uh, couple months ago, and and we were glad to have him. And um, good dude, good dude. Yeah, yeah, he was he was real wonderful. We even um, um, we lost your video feed there. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. Um, but um, yeah, of course, uh, he he performed his uh, hit song uh, "Oh Baby Come On," and he performed yeah, that on good. our show. And, and it was uh, real great, and uh, of course he's welcome back on any time as well, obviously. Um, so anyway, uh, we're going to take a short break here, and when we come back, uh, uh, Trevor is going to play that song for us. So uh, we'll be right back in just a moment. <laughs> Oh, 